Howdy, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Mojave D here. Um, whether this is your very first time or you've played 10, 20, 30 hours and you realize, man, I could have I could have done this better. I, I, I could have started better. Um, this is for you. A um, couple of tips that I wish I knew my first time through. Number one, do not upgrade your camp first because the same materials that you need to upgrade your camp are the materials you need to improve your weapons. Uh, you can upgrade your camp before you're able to make weapons and armor. So it's tempting and, and so you want to do that. You want to upgrade your camp, but don't do it. Don't upgrade your camp. Number two, do not buy the weapons or the armor that the traveling merchants uh, sell. There's bands of traveling merchants all over the place if this is your first time. And you, some of them uh, offer you weapons and armor that are way better than what you have. Don't buy them. You can make better ones yourself. And uh, if you do start buying their weapons and their armor, you're going to get yourself in a pinch for money. So those are just two things that I wish I had known. All right, so without me explaining going into a, a discussion of all of these things, I'm just going to show you what I would recommend you to start with. Pick apprentice friends looking for adventure, because that's, that's what we are, man. We're all friends, and we're looking for an adventure. Take that. Um, on this one, take used to long walks. There'll be an argument for slap games. Um, trust a 71-year-old man uh, used to long walks. Okay, I'll give a little explanation why. Uh, your guys won't get tired as often. They won't want to whine and cry and go, We need to pee. We need to stop. Daddy, can we stop the car at the next gas station and make camp? You won't have to make camp as often. All right, so it's an economic um, uh, choice. Um, the slap games, the critical hits, you'll be a critical hit monster later on anyway. Uh, but there's nothing you can do besides this right here to um, affect how often you make camp. So take long walks. This one we need a debuff. Take the first one. Carrying capacity reduced by one because there's horses and you can overcome this very easily. Take adaptive exploration. We can debate this, but we're not going to take this. You're, I'm going to assume you're just starting, so just go ahead and pick novice. I'll show you how you can increase your experience, uh, your um, level later to experience expert extreme. Uh, you can do that in game, and we'll do that. I'll show you. But I'm going to play this like you would. If I were to put this on a harder level, um, I would not be getting the same things that you would be getting if this is your first time. So I want to um, make this. A, 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 like you would play it, novice first time, just kind of checking it out. Uh, for saves, you can do limited free or Iron Man take free. So you can save whenever you want. And that is where you can actually uh, change your level, your difficulty level, is when you save the game. There'll be a little box there. Uh, hit the Y button if you're playing on Xbox, um, and that will give you the ability to up your difficulty. In this screen, you can, these are our starters. We've got a swordsman, an archer, a ranger, a horse, and a brute. Um, the only thing missing out of this, out of the six um, categories for companions, would be a warrior and a spearman. And we'll, we'll recruit some of those uh, later. Now, you can customize these any way you want. Name, uh, all of this. You can change everything the way you want to do it. So you do that and then I will meet you over here on the right side uh, for the important stuff. See you in a minute after I set mine up. Okay, here we go. Aramis, Three Musketeer, he's a swordsman. Over here, this is what you want. You want him starting with a one-handed weapon shield. Um, you want him to have wrath. Bloodthirsty, strong, glutton. Archer, Milady, also from the Three Musketeers. This is what you want. You want her to have the run 
ability, bloodthirsty, nimble, glutton. Cat, the ranger, same as an archer. They make their living on dexterity. So we want wrath. The only one who doesn't have wrath is the archer because it's not available right now. Um, bloodthirsty, nimble, glutton. They're all going to be gluttons, except the horse. Scout. Stocky, quick, unlucky. You have to have one negative debuff. All of the humans will have glutton because it's the easiest one to overcome. All we did by giving them glutton was increase their food consumption by one. It times four of them, so we're at plus four. We can overcome that very, very easily. With the horse negative uh, critical hit, because do not ever make your horse a fighter. So since it's not going to be a fighter, it's going to be a pack horse, critical hit isn't even a negative, so it doesn't even really get a negative, because it will not be fighting. A Porthos, our brute, also a Three Musketeer. Uh, from the Three Musketeers, Wrath, single, uh, uh, one-handed weapon with a shield to start. Bloodthirsty, strong, glutton, and now you're ready to get off to a rock and start. Uh, so let's get off to a rock and start. You ready to rock? You ready to roll? Let's take a stroll. This is different every time you do it. Hopefully we have a good run this time. All right, you cannot move very fast. Just head over here to the right and pick up the comfrey. Uh, that'll be used for um, in alchemy, for medicines and other buffs. This is a suicidal lunatic. <laughs> if we started on the harder levels, he wouldn't be by himself. But he's by himself and he's attacking all four of us. He's a nut. Suicidal, man. All right. Um, so basically, you move one guy, then they move one guy. If you look at the top of the screen, we've got those those four X's, those four swords crossed like that. That's you. Uh, the face is him. So all four of us get to move before he does. So he's, he's already dead, and he doesn't know it. This is a good setup right here. You want your rangers to always attack from behind. They get a bonus for that. You can move your players. Let's move the archer over here so that she can potentially have a shot. I think everybody can reach her or him, the, the lunatic, the insane dude. All right, what, we, what you want to do is we want to go in and stab in the back so that we get the, the bonuses for that. So we'll start with Porthos in this case and get him to face away from Cat. Whack him. Now he's got two two layers there. The top layer is his armor, the bottom layer is his health. But really they're both health. So he starts with 8 armor and 12 health. So really he has 20. You have to eliminate 20. And we did a bunch of that. Now we're engaged. Do not ever hit A and disengage. That's right here. A. Don't disengage because when you do, whoever you're engaged with will have a shot at you. He'll be able to hit you for free as you back off. Um, let's let her take a shot, uh, simply because we do need to level her up too. There we go. Now, she has the run ability allows, this is why I picked that, she has the ability to move five meters in any direction. She won't need to in this case. Let's bring in our backstabber. This probably will end this guy. Especially if we get a crit and you have a good chance of doing that because we are ambushing from the back. There it is. That was nasty. Filthy. All right. We have now a dagger that does poison and it's better than the dagger we have. So loot everything and we have a promotion to give to Porthos. Now Porthos, okay, these choices up here. Uh, notice the armor that he can equip. On Vanguard, medium armor. On Smasher, medium armor. And his weapon uh, deals poison on impact. Destroyer, he can equip heavy armor. 
and you get weakening. We're going to pick this, not because of the heavy armor. The heavy armor isn't necessarily the best armor. The um, medium armor is the best armor, in my opinion. The heavy armor comes with a minus two in movement. His movement is 10. You don't want to put heavy armor on him until you get his movement up to at least 14 so that it then gets knocked down to 12, and 12 is fine. Uh, pick Destroyer. Uh, the weakening blow is very, very good. With your first brute, we're going to have a larger group later, and you'll have other brutes, and you can do these other things. I would, I would probably go with Vanguard on the second one. All right, Destroyer, very good. And now, and his constitution went up when it went from 12 to 13. We don't have the ability to adjust these yet. We'll be able to hopefully, as soon as we can unlock career plans, when a uh, career path, I think it's called, and we'll be able to customize this. Willpower is very important. For him, uh, strength is where you want to put it. We don't have the ability to do that. Uh, critical hit would then be the next. Willpower, once you get it to 15, like it says down there, that it allows them to survive the first time that they should have died. Um, and you have a chance to heal them. Uh, we're going to take the one, the plus one, on the critical hit right here over this. We'll get his willpower up later, but take the critical hit. And let's give that better dagger to Cat. Now you can see right now her dexterity is eight. When she picks this up, it goes to nine. And so now she's much better equipped and we can sell that, that dagger uh, when we and get into town or come across a caravan of merchants. Okay, now we can't move very fast, but we will pretty soon. So just go on down here now. Do you go right or left? You go left. The reason you go left is because that's where the town is and we want to get there. Remember, don't wander aimlessly, wander with a purpose. Our purpose for coming here is not to buy a horse. You can talk to these guys um, yourself. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm looking for hemp. So move your cursor around, usually around the grassy areas. We're not going to get any hemp this time to deal with. What we're here for is to steal something. Um, I'm hoping for cloth. Come around here and inspect this. No cloth. Wheat. All right, so the best thing to steal out of these options would be the rope. Um, the other options are just um, wheat. So we have to assign a thief. The thief should be the archer or the ranger because the thief will gain um, a point in dexterity. Dexterity plays into crit. Uh, your, your ranger and your archer make their living off of crit. So we'll pick the ranger. She is now a thief. And we will have her steal the rope. Uh, the, the, it's Our choice is it's better than the wheat, and that's all our choices are. So now you see our suspicion went up to 59. See that badge up there at the top? Looks like a sheriff's star up there uh, with a bullet hole in it, <laughs> in the middle of it. Uh, that's your suspicion. When you get to 100, the police will be all over you, man and um, you'll have to avoid them. At this point, they're not really looking for us. Now you'll notice, oh, we, oh cloth, excellent. That's what I was hoping we would be able to loot in the other place. Um, let me bring that back up. Notice this is red um, because it's stolen. Now we can get that red off of it and be able to use it by building a, a box um, that our thief can put the stolen items in and fence them. And once they've been fenced, you still get to use them. They don't disappear, <clears throat> but it'll turn white and we can use it. And we can use it now too. Your your suspicion will re go down over time. It was 59, it's already 54. <clears throat> Excuse me, gee whiz. Ah, there we go. You'll get your first knowledge point, put it in run, R-U-N. And what we want to unlock is career plans so we can customize we can decide how to build our guys. All right, now we can go fast. You see, let's let's look at this merchant just for grins. Um, just to show Might you. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? 
this is what I was talking about. Much better than what we have. It costs 40 bucks. Uh, we've got enough money to buy it, 310. Uh, this costs 130 bucks, much better than what we have, uh, although we, yeah, we do have somebody who can use that. We can put that on Porthos. But you can make a better weapon than this. You can make a better helmet than this. And we will get into money issues if we start buying those, and there's no reason to do it. We'll sell him something. We will sell him the old dagger for 16 bucks. There we go. All right, now let's get it. Well, let's pick this up over here and over here. Now you want, as you're roaming, you're going to want to uh, pick up everything you can. But let's get into town. All right, we can't do anything in the forge. We can't do anything at the apothecary. You're going to go to the inn. This is where we get our purpose. We want to pick jobs. The emissary will give you jobs and to make more money and they're fun. We want the jobs to go in the direction that we want to go in. Might she be Ideally, looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. So, um, the drunkards, we want to go in that direction. That's actually perfect. We're going to be going down that road right there. I'll bring it back up in a minute. You see the road right there in the, that square? Right. We're going to be going down that road. So perfect. Um, and we make uh, 200 bucks. Oh, the tower. Perfect. Um, we'll be going that way. You don't always get the same um, jobs. Perfect. And this one goes straight south. Um, let's see where, south. That's not south. <laughs> what the heck? Did I, did I just read that wrong? Did it change direction on me? Um, <laughs> let's see where that went. That's fine too. That's perfect because, uh, this is where we're going to go, uh, next. So, <laughs> perfect. So what we're going to do now, um, what you're going to do now is wander down this road south uh, do these two jobs and we're gonna recruit our first recruit down here for free but first let's look at the recruits they offer us uh, no go on this guy willpower is only six do not recruit anybody with willpower below ten just don't do it uh, his trait is solitary which is not good for a brute either because they're usually going to be around their uh, squad mates and he gets a 10% increase to damage if he isn't near any allies. Uh, he's a healer. We will need healers. We didn't do any healers with the first four. We will need healers, but later. Anyway, he's out. Uh, willpower is 10, a stocky vegetarian, uh, also a healer and a swordsman. No, thank you. Not good enough. Uh, that guy you talk to later. We don't, there's nothing he can do for us. A warrior. We do need a warrior. Oh my goodness, we're going to recruit somebody. I can't believe it. I, I really didn't expect to and I didn't want to. <laughs> but look at her. Willpower is 15. Awesome. That is awesome. Her, her trait, confident, which increases her willpower by two. Uh, she's also over here. If you look at this, she's already she already comes with um, wrath. Oh my gosh, she's close to perfect. I have to recruit her. I didn't want to do that, but uh, because I want of to this. see the world before settling down. Oh, she wants to. Okay, great. So do we. Um, <laughs> it's gonna cost. That's why I didn't want to do it. It's gonna cost us thirty influence and 60 bucks, but she's too good to pass up, guys. We gotta take her. We gotta rename her, because I cannot pronounce her name. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, this is how you advance the story, uh, Blind, and get your... You. Yeah, you. You looking for work? I can give you tips and point you toward the best missions. The kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. Of course, You'll then have to meet the client and meddle in other people's affairs. Not but at the end of the day, 
It's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? Uh, we'll talk about this later. We don't have the influence now anyway. We just recruited somebody unexpectedly, uh, but pleasantly, a pleasant um, uh, surprise. This is how you uh, advance a storyline. You have to complete the story arc in each region in order to get a border pass to cross the border. But I'm going to show you how to cross the border illegally without a pass and without needing to pay the taxes. You can also pay to pass through the border to the next region, but if you don't want to pay every time and you don't want to uh, stay in one region to get the border pass so you can go to the next region, you, you want to travel around, I'm going to show you how to do that. So nothing here for him. Uh, the, the innkeeper, we're not going to buy anything. Say, it's not often you see new faces around here. Well, apart from the Edoranian war refugees, that is. Uh, we will want to pick these up, especially the mutton stew later. I'm thinking about stealing it. But we're at 50. This would uh, increase. This would make us wanted by the cops. Um, we'll wait. We'll wait on that. So Feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. You can rest here uh, also, but don't. We'll do that in camp. And there's nothing else we can do here. Um, we don't have materials. We don't need to buy anything. Uh, we have food. If you look, we've got 16 bread. That's plenty. And we even have, uh, that, that's all we have is bread and apples. All right, so that's all we can do here now. Don't worry, we'll, we'll deal with town later. What we want to do at this point is head down this road, do our jobs. Um, we can make 200 there, 210 there, and then come down here to meet our um, first, <laughs> what was going to be our first recruit. Speaking of that, we need to uh, take a look at her. Uh, she won't be ready to uh, promote or anything at this point, so there really isn't anything we can do with her. Um, I do, I'll rename her when we, we make a camp. She comes with a job. She's a tinkerer, which uh, increases her critical, critical hit by 2%. Anyway, so head south, and what you want to do, and I'll meet you down there, is pick up materials. Um, everything you can pick up, pick it up. Um, Leather is rare. If you find a merchant selling leather, that would be something I would recommend buying. Um, look into the woods for wolves, for boars. You can uh, fight them and get leather also. So leather, wood, iron, um, all materials that we need for our weapons, to make weapons and armor. Um, also the same materials to upgrade the camp. Do not upgrade your camp. I'll meet you down there. Toss them out ourselves. We'll toss them all out. It's been uh, drinking a bit. Yeah, I've been drinking. Yeah. We all have. How do you know? You seers or something? Yeah, I'm psychic. Uh, she's all by herself because we're on novice. Normally she's got a, a crew with her. Um, Never mind. Leather. Leave us be. We've got refugees to clear out a Tiltron. <laughs> Leather plus we get um, we get paid, so we'll, do, we'll, we'll we'll let's fight her. We have to go to a town to collect our rewards, and you can collect your uh, money in any town. How are we set up here? Can we get behind her? Ah, uh, we sure can. And we have an extra player too, which uh, su surprisingly so. Let's see. We want to make sure Cat can reach the backside, so. Um, we're going to switch Cat with Aramis, and we're going to move Aramis over here, and we're going to move our Archer right here. Our Archer probably won't come into play. One, two, three, four, five. All five of us get to go before she does. <laughs> this is crazy. She's already dead, guys. All right, let's start with our Archer, otherwise she won't get a shot. So we need to move her up a little bit, get her in range, and pop her. She has 14 armor, but now she has only 11. Now after that, she can run. In, in future battles, this will be very uh, necessary so that you can keep her out of harm's way. But not in this one, because we're, just, we're five against one. Okay, so what we want to do now is lock her up. Let's see what the, what the new girl looks like. Let's see how she does. Let's lock her up and keep her facing away from our, um, there we go, she has a ring, nice, nice. She only did three, 
do not disengage. She's going to have to stay there. She's going to take some damage. But um, this, this gal is not going to live long. Uh, now, he can walk away because he's not engaged, um, which will give our other attacker a spot to get in there. And then we can go and finish there with the Ranger. There we go. The weakening blow comes into play because he got a valor point. That's great. I'm going to leave him there so that we can get a surround bonus. And we should be able to kill her right here. She is surrounded. We're, 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 um, we're coming in from the back. This should do her in. <laughs> <laughs> that is just filthy, man. Sick. All right. We've got some armor, but nobody can wear it yet. They need to go up another level. It's heavy armor. You see it does minus two. I'm not going to put that on anybody anyway. We'll sell that. We can make better armor. Oh, we got the five leather, and we will get collected 200 bucks when we get back to town. And Cat got promoted. All right. First time on Cat. The, the way we're going to build her is as a cutthroat. So we want this vicious, <laughs> valorious victory because she will get a valor point for kills. And she's going to be doing a lot of that as a cutthroat attacking from behind. This is perfect. Uh, we get two pluses on dexterity. That's what I would do anyway if we could customize it ourselves, which we can't do yet, but we will soon. All right. Now we'll go on to the second one. But first, we're going to stop at the mine. Stop right there. This salt mine belongs to her ladyship Gontrand. I can't just let you walk in. Pay him, threat name, or persuade. Do persuade, you'll get that 20 influence right As back. you wish. We can't mine the salt because of these two iron veins anyway. I really do. All right, so we have to choose a somebody to be the miner. Uh... Best for, to do this with one of your frontline people, so we'll let we'll let Aramis do it. And you want to hit A X Y or B when they come up, and there's going to be a circle. You want to hit it when that circle is as close to the center as possible, as close to the center as you can time it. Oops, that wasn't a good one. That wasn't a good one. That was pretty good. We only got six. Now let's try the other side. Because I didn't hit very well. That wasn't bad. That was good. That was good. That was bad. That was pretty good. I only got four. I suck. Okay, uh, we can steal again. And we're at 40. Uh, this will make us wanted. Uh, let's hold off on the stealing right now. Why are we doing that? Um, okay, if you look over here, you see those banners across the top, level one, level one, level one. Each of these categories um, have things that when you accomplish them, will fill this bar up. And when one of these bars is filled up, then that bar power underneath it, um, in the middle, underneath the banners will fill up. And that will unlock really good stuff on this side. So that's why we stole something, because we earned 59. We need 250 uh, in Dead or Alive uh, to open up that right side over there. And then pickpocket, um, nimble fingers, this is for picking locks. But all of that will unlock things on this side, which are very, very powerful. Now let's talk to this guy, and, and he'll give us back that 20 You influence. cleared out the iron deposits? Well done. We can get back to work. There you go. So that didn't cost us anything to do that. So um, we're going to move on to our next job, which it looks like is right up behind us. So it's going to be up this hill. And I'll meet you there. And then our goal is going to be right below us. Oh, we got another um, knowledge point. Great. We want to unlock career plans. But first, let's go. And it's not unlocked. Pick rationing, it reduces our food consumption by three. Remember we're at plus four? Well now we're at plus one. We've already we've already handled three of that. 
uh, debuff. Okay, we're going to go up there. I'll meet you up there on the, the... That's probably our guys right there, huh? Um, I don't think so. These are not our guys. But we'll, we, we don't have a choice. We're going to fight them. There's only two of them. I, I should not record this because the video will be too long. And, and, and just to like... You should be okay by yourself. You kind of get the idea, right? Um, now, sh let's see if... She can hit them both. I think they're too far apart. But she might be able to. Let's move them up anywho. Let's get our let's get Cat in a position where she can flank. Alright, she can flank their guy. They've got a guy with a uh, poison dagger as well. But he doesn't go first. This one does. I'm wondering. I want to see if she can hit them both. I think they're too far apart. Let's try it. She can. But she's not engaged with either one of them. And we do want to lock up the archer. So, um... I'm going to back her off for now. And we want to lock this archer up so that the archer can't shoot, you know shoot and run. If I can get him to face this way. There we go. And with his valor point, might be able to end this guy if he crits. Not quite. That's alright. Okay, now we want to lock this, this guy up because when it's his turn, uh, we don't want him running up and backstabbing one of us. Uh, so we'll... Well, you know, we can end, I know we can end the archer, but the archer is locked up and engaged in battle. It can't use its weapon. All it can do is punch us, so it's not going to be able to do a lot of a damage. Oops, what happened? Oh, I have to... Why can't... Oh, because I already moved her, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get this guy locked up on us. So he can't run up on somebody when it's his turn. See, all he can do is punch. And it's our turn again. I don't think she's got a shot from there. Ah, oh, she can. She can end the archer. I'm not going to let him go. You have the option here. They're demoralized. You can choose to let him run or not. We don't want to be running in this, this instance. Sometimes you do. gets a turn then. Oh, I have to end her turn, I'm sorry. I'm talking and not paying attention. Okay, we can get behind this guy, flank him, get the bonus for that. And goodbye! That's so wicked. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that wasn't our paid assignment. Now we have another dag. Oh, good, we got clocks. Cloth and leather are really hard to come by early on. We have the materials to repair. We've got 20. It only takes one. Somebody got their stuff damage. And we can upgrade our archer. Um, promote our archer. With her on the first time, you're going to do Valorius Victory. Uh, other archers will do uh, one of these. But for the, the way we're going to build her, Valorius Victory. She gets a Valor Point for kills. She's going to be a killing machine down the road. All right. Ah, oh, good. Critical hit is where we have the two pluses. We'll take it. With her, critical hit, the dexterity, they play into each other. Perfect. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's heavy armor. She couldn't equip it anyway. But none of them are high enough level to equip any armor at this point. So I will meet you. Oh, it looks like I have to head up a little bit north. Um, but I think the only way up there is the way we're going. I'll meet you up there for that job when we get up to the top. We're going to have to go through the snow, which is fine. Now, if we didn't take that long-distance run that we did, we would have already had to make a camp, and we haven't. We haven't. We don't need to make camp. You do want to make camp before you get into a fight so that you get those valor points up. But see, we would have had to make camp by now. Your group is overtired. 
So now we do have to make camp, but we would have had to make camp down there before the mine. So we'll make camp. Remember, do not upgrade anything. Uh, you can. Uh, she is a tinkerer already. So let's put her on the bench here. I said put her on the bench. Okay, for some reason she doesn't want to go on the bench. There we go. Now, you can make stuff here. But don't. Uh, well, we don't, have a, we don't have any wood, so we can't anyway. But if you did have wood, whatever, and you wanted to make a camp chest, a cooking pot, a hitching post, a tent, don't do it. Um, because all of these materials for all of this is what we need. We've, I've already explained that. So we're not going to do any of that. Um, I will make two pitons, though. Because we will need those to cross the border illegally. I will do that. And let's make a lock pick. We don't have one. Because that's going to be needed uh, where we're going. And that's all we're going to do. Uh, except you have to feed them. Let me show you how to do that. You just Now normally if you had a cook pot, you would cook something. We're not going to cook anything. We do want to put somebody on this, however. Uh, so let's put my lady on it. Uh, because uh, why isn't it letting me see there we go uh, with a companion on there there's a chance at, uh, of getting a random bonus uh, good to the next rest we can't we're not going to make any food we need to give them 22 food there's 20 there's 22 we don't have to pay them yet they are fed And we pick up valor points and happiness. The troops' happiness is at eight. And by having the tinkerer on the bench over there, we pick up two um, raw materials. That's for repairing our weapons. And we have increased our knowledge. Now, we didn't get this to open up, and I really want this to open up. Um, We can learn these things, just don't, you can learn campfire and workshop, uh, all of that, but just don't make them because you need those materials. We've already talked about that. Um, okay, so I can't, I'm trying to remember how I can get career plans to open up on the next time around. Uh, for right now, we'll, we'll just take uh, uh, weight training to increase our, our carry capacity. And I think, and I'm hoping that the next go round will get career plans. All right, let's break camp and pick up the ore. And are these our guys? They're not. Okay, um, I'll resolve the battle, and um, I don't think you need to watch that. Well, you want to watch? <laughs> I just don't want the video to be too long, man. So, there's three of them. Let's get all our guys on the same side so we're not fighting on two fronts here. Okay. This guy goes first. We can get our... Ranger, ooh, you can't get behind him, but that's okay. Um, we'll just line them up. We have two people that can go, and then one of theirs goes, and then two more. Let's lock up the first guy, Aramis. And let's now we can. Aha, that's for healing. Now we can ambush this guy. Not quite enough, but his valor point kicks in and his wrath does the job. Nice. And then there were two. 
now, if he were hurt, he could go over here and heal. We don't need him to move. So that guy goes next. We can't quite reach him. With him. She can reach. Uh, these guys are too wide apart for her to get the double hit thing in. But... this guy up too so he can't run over there and uh, do anything on his turn and the valor point kicks in get a quick not quite oh and wrath kicks in see ya take a seat no we're not gonna let him run we're gonna we're gonna kill him all Hit your own guy, uh, um, but um, now she can. We can get her over here. Oh, crit! Done. <laughs> and she would get a valor point for that if the fight was continuing. That was too good. Uh, is this one-handed? It's one-handed. All right, we might be able to use that. All right, Aramis got a promotion. So now for him, uh, again, look at the armor. Uh, heavy armor for protector, heavy armor for fighter, medium armor for sword master. We're going to go sword master and never take protector. We'll do a fighter on the next go around. We'll take sword master in this go around. And our choices are perfect. Strength is his, how he makes his living. So let's, let's go. We're going strength. They're giving us two pluses there. I do not think... Uh, well, he can't equip this. Um, Porthos might be able to. No, he's got a club. Um, no, nobody can equip that, so we'll sell it. Repair our armor, and that was not our, our target. Our target is this tower over here. So, um, we'll get to the tower. This is the one we get paid for. Are you guys ready to up the level? I mean, it, you know, it, it's it's really easy, right? I mean, you, you, you get the idea. Um, let's get... Let's get her back here. Put Cat back there. And... Three of us get to move. Uh, their first one is going to be this dude. We will um, get him locked up on us. Actually, she can, she might be able to hit him both from here. But then he's not locked up. Um, so let's switch her with you. That way, on the next turn, he can lock this guy up. I want to see if she can get in there and uh, hit him both. She should be able to, I believe. Ah, not quite. Um, need to move her just a skosh. I don't think we can move her enough. Um, let's try. There it is. She can stay right there. But she doesn't, neither one of them is engaged. So uh, we need to engage this guy and get him to turn towards us. So that we can do this. Goodbye. <laughs> no, we're not going to let him go. He does get a move, but let's just keep him out of the way so we can get our other uh, people in there on the next go around. She just needs to come up a step. 
<laughs> I told you the archer, uh, she's uh, now see in a, in a in a real fight where we have a lot of other enemies, she can move strategically. We're not going to do that. Um, we'll let Aramis put an end to this. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, we just made another 210 bucks. Now this is light armor, but they're not high enough level to wear any armor yet. And we got a lockpick. Uh, all right. Now here, I really want to find some hemp. We have to use a lockpick to open that. Um, search for, there it is, hemp. So we can make another rope. And uh, let's, we can try the lockpick. There's one down here, and there's one up here. Let's try it. So, basically, what you want to do is listen for clicks. But you don't want to go too far. You'll break the lock pick. Ah, like that. Oh, I thought that was it. I broke them both. So we'd have to make camp and make another lockpick to open these. Um, I might do that, but well, you can do that. I'll do that too. Where we're heading is down here. I'll meet you down here because this video is being too long. I, I didn't expect all these battles uh, to record all these battles. This will uh, allow somebody to carry more, put it on their belt. All right. All right, let's go down and get our guy. I just uh, I had to make camp and make some lock picks and get that done. Okay, this is the reason we took the jobs in this direction was to get to here. Um, <coughs> hemp, yes. This guy. <clears throat> this was gonna be our first recruit, but we found that awesome our warrior we couldn't pass up on. We're gonna heal this guy. Don't kill him. He, he killed everyone. A real madman. I'm injured. Help me. See your options. Heal him. Oh, thank you. I still can't believe that Ricky used us as bait. He was the one to blame, not us. If he hadn't killed that little girl to steal her necklace, her father wouldn't have fought back, and my friends would still be alive. Take me with you. I have a score to settle with that traitor. Good. Let's see how he turns out this time. Good. Um, good. He's cooperative, which means he'll take uh, um, decreased, increased, Damage 10% if next to an ally. Uh, he has run perfect for him. Uh, we can for what we're gonna, the way we're going to build him. And so that's going to be. He's not going to be a cutthroat. So the other one's going to be a cutthroat uh, down here. 
this one's going to be a strategist. So we want this every time they end their turn next to an ally but not engaged in combat they gain it or this one every time they are next to an enemy but not engaged actually for strategist this is the better one to do and strategist now he you got to see this in action he will be able to throw a smoke bomb which causes the enemy to disengage with your guys that they're engaged in combat with, which gives your guys a free shot at the enemy when they disengage. And this he could, this can happen up to four, four enemies in one area. If all four of them disengage, that gives you four up to four free shots on enemies. So we're taking strategist with this one. The other one will be a cutthroat. Now, over here, critical hit. We still don't have career path, so we can't customize this. But this is perfect. And he gets another one because he was a higher level. So we'll do it again. Oh my goodness. So he's going to be a beast. An early beast, and I think we have a poison dagger we can give him and make him better. Okay, so uh, where we are on the map is right down here, right? We did the job here, we did the job here. I roamed around up in here killing uh, hogs and uh, uh, wolves and picking up as much loot as I could. Um, I didn't go down in here, you just, it opens up because you're on the ridge of this mountain up here. But I did also go this way, I, I, I suggest to do that. There's a lot of uh, resources down here to pick up and we'll be going here pretty darn soon uh, to open up the border. The border is right here and we're gonna cross it for free. But first, um, I wanted to pick him up. So that's what I've done. So, and we also fought got into fights with three other band, uh, groups of bandits. So now you should be ready to up your level, um, right? So do that, we'll go into save, your first save, and we'll just call it rock and start. And you, yours won't be exactly, um, the way, and then over here, we'll, we'll up our difficulty. I, th I think you should be ready to, to go up one level here to experienced. You'll get more um, enemies, but that also allows you to get more loot. And um, what we're going to do now, however, is go back to town, collect our money, um, resupply ourselves, and we're going to head over and do this one and pick up the other recruit. All right? Uh oh, what I was saying is yours will be a little bit different. Um, but even if you don't get a mission that takes you up here to this tower, I suggest uh, after you do the mine down here, you do the drunkard in the mine, go up and do it and collect the resources up here and fight the animals up here to get leather. You're going to need it. And it's not a bad idea while you're wandering to do this. Now, I've only had to make camp uh, twice because we took long distance running, right? We took the run. So in the long run, Pun intended, taking run is better than the, uh, the critical hit thing, as, as you will see, the critical hit you can compensate for. So, uh, from here we picked up Hackert, we're going to go back to town, I'll meet you there. Uh, and then from town we're going to head up to that other job, which leads us right to the other guy we want to recruit. Now I want to show you how this works. So we've got two of our guys engaged with these hogs. This was on the way to town, by the way. So he can throw a smoke bomb. Those hogs will disengage, and both of our people will be able to hit the hogs. Two free shots. And he happens to be standing on an axe over here. So he can throw it. So we'll end this turn right there. But I wanted to show you how that works. So we got two free hits. Um, who goes next? This one? Can she go? She can go. She can get them both. She can only 
pick one. Take and kill it. Dang. Uh, they're telling us that we could capture them if we have ropes. Um, and not yet. We, we, we don't want to have animals. We could capture it if we have ropes, but we're not going to. I really just wanted you to see that, how that, um, how that worked. We'll just get him out of the way for now. How that smoke bomb thing worked. Um, I need to move her so she can shoot this guy down. Didn't kill it. Dang. Ouch. Ouch. That's a dominant sow. She's a little tougher. Um, didn't get any leather. Okay, um, I'll meet you at town. It's just uh, right up ahead. We're almost there. All right, go into the inn. Collect our pay. Might she be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. We pick up four hundred and ten. Here is your reward. Now, we can select two more uh, jobs. We want to do the rat infestation now because that is in the area that we'll be going to uh, sneak across the border. That's oh, wait a minute. Where is that? That's not the one I wanted. I wanted this rat infestation. Does she offer that? Might she be looking for work? I'll rock. Um, okay, we do need to go south. That's perfect. And we'll see who's in town. We'll power 11. Very good. Oh, wow. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> These guys are, are good. I don't, they're normally not this good. Uh, very tempting. Uh, just my, um, this one. Um, scrawny. We got Scrawny down here, so uh, his health is, is reduced uh, by 5%. But again, uh, willpower 11. Uh, he's not too bad, but what, uh, in this I like right here. Uh, he's got a two-handed sword and he's got wrath. Um, <laughs> deal with this guy later. Uh, man, I can't believe this. We're getting some really good, good people. Willpower is only 7. This guy is a no-go. Um, this one, uh, maybe, but before we do that, uh, I want to show you why uh, you don't improve your camp. Hopefully, by now, we can, uh, well, we have to assign somebody to this. Um, uh, usually, one of your frontline guys is better for this um, because the, the buff you get is strength. So I'm not going to use her. So we'll change um, her. She's a tinkerer. Uh, we have somebody else to do that. Um, let's change her. Because strength is, is, is how she makes her living. I haven't changed her name yet. And I really should. Um, 
so now let's see if we can well wait a minute we can't we won't be able to improve much yet because we're not high enough level um, to select the improvement to the armor um, well here we do have well, left-handed weapons yeah we're not high enough level yet but we can make let's make what we can to improve them uh, we do have uh, two people using shields so you can see how much iron wood and leather I have I wouldn't have that if I had improved my camp I wouldn't be able to do that so we can make five targets I, I need two so let's make let's make them so here a X Y B you want to hit it when it's white hot and that will improve the gear if you hit it right Oops, a little early. So I didn't do too good. Um, but it, it, its guard is 12 and armor is 6. Now if we look at the way it comes, it's 11.5. So I did improve it somewhat. And we're going to put that on Aramis because his shield right now uh, gives him guard 10 plus 2. If we put this on him, this is loot from, from all the fights, from the, the other fights. Uh, this will improve his guard by two and his armor as well, plus giving the skill protection. So we improved him. Let's make another one for uh, Porthos. Let's see if I can do better this time. one will be a little bit better. Uh, nope, 12 and 6. Same. That should have been better. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll give this to Porthos. Porthos, and that improves his guard by 2 and his armor by 4. All right, now we have people, well, we could put some of this armor on some of them. Let's see. Um, Hacker, doesn't have any armor. He only has plus five. He can't equip that. This doesn't help him. Uh, that doesn't help him. Um, all right. So we're going to make him some rags. That's all we have. That's all we can do right now. But we'll do it. Now this improves armor ten. Let's see if we can make it better than that. did it goes up to 11 plus it got a slot see the little slot down there underneath it uh, so that you can um, add stuff to it and make it even better yet so his armor right now gives him five the armor we just made it gives him 11 plus six there we go so he's got a little more protection now she is wearing looted armor uh, so her armor protection is 12 I don't think she can I don't think I have any looted armor that will improve her I don't um, so we're not gonna worry about her um, the lady has got only five so she needs some rags she can't wear any of the looted armor that will do any good so we'll make her some rags came out plus so I did really good on that one huh that one came out plus 12 uh, so two better and it has two slots for improving her armor very nice very nice what was that for lady? yeah she doesn't have any armor that came out about perfect huh so now we improve her armor by seven plus it's got two slots in it we, we don't have the ability to do anything with that yet Let's see the rest of them. Um, I think uh, Aramis has looted armor on him, so he's got plus 14. Um, Porthos has plus 14. Um, we took him up to 11. 
and she's got plus 12, so we really can't do anything else. But that's why um, you don't improve your camp, because if you look now, um, I only have six leather left. So um, as soon as we get another uh, knowledge point, which we just did, actually, from doing that, um, still can't open up career paths. I did something wrong. I think I needed to learn frugality. But now, if we go in here, we can make better armor. And But I want to go for the weapons because I want to improve Aramis's sword if we can. So this will do this one-handed sword. And um, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, this one. <laughs> Sorry. Now, let's see if we can make Aramis a better sword. We can. Great. And we can hopefully, do we have enough to make the um, mace for Porthos? Uh, let's see, we need two leather there, and we need, to, yeah, I think we'll have enough to do both. Great. strength. Uh, uh, let's do that again. That's better. Plus six. All right. And can I make the studded mace still? Yes. And this will be the last of our leather. So I don't want to screw up on this. So we improved it quite a bit. So now Aramis will get the, the better of those two swords. I made two of them. I'll sell one back. This one does plus six. This one does. This is the better one of them. Now watch his strength. We'll go from 11 to 16. Oh my gosh. And the base damage on this sword uh, is considerably more. Uh, 13 to 16 for slice. Uh, his other sword... Uh, which one was it? Right here, the the Rusty Gladius. Crap. Okay, so now we can sell all of this to this guy. Oh, let's get that uh, mace on Porthos. Porthos. How do you pronounce that? Okay, this will increase his strength by five, so it goes from eight to 13. <laughs> and this the pound does eight to 10 damage. His other weapon, uh, the club, that he had, um, um, it's, well, too late, it's not gonna show me the base damage on it. I think it was four to six. Anyway, so now we can sell all the stuff. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith, if you happen to know one. We're gonna sell the heavy armor. We can make better heavy armor than this, and we don't wanna use it right now anyway. So sell all your stuff and lighten your load. I'm at um, 71.2. I can carry 110. But this will lighten our load considerably and give us quite a bit of money. The one I made, I can sell back to him for 40 bucks. That I made a better one version of. And we can sell that for five bucks. So just sell. Um, do we want to sell this? Yeah, yeah. And we want to sell this as well. And we can put this on somebody's belt, which will increase their carry weight. I will do that if we need to. So now we're down to 54 of 110. I think I've sold, oh, wait a minute. This helmet, um, it's a medium helmet. Uh, let's give that to one of our front line people. Um, I send her in first because of her area attack. Let's see if she can equip that. And she can. It, oh, increases her critical hit by two, her guard by two, and her armor by six, and gives her fortitude. And fortitude... 
Um, as long as this unit has no guard, they gain two rage. Um, so if she, if her, if her, um, that doesn't kick in until her, she's lost her armor, you know, in battle. So anyway, it, but it improves her, her considerably. And we got another knowledge point. Now let's see if we can open up career plans. We cannot, but, um, let's work on the next time that we have enough supplies being able to upgrade some of these other weapons. Um... Let's improve her two-handed axe. Uh, however, we don't have the materials to do that right now. Leather and wood, <laughs> we used all of that. And we wouldn't have been able to do any of that if we had made improvements to our camp. Okay, so from here, um, what we're going to do is go up here and pick up our other free recruit. Um, stock up on whatever supplies you need uh, at the market, if you need food and all that kind of thing. And um, we'll head up here and I'll meet you up there. Right on, right on. I was wrong about those leather um, straps. I put them on Aramis and they increase his guard by 10%. And while you're here, you're gonna need to buy um, five. Those refugees. I understand My there's a war in Egeran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. You're gonna need, let's sell these carcasses. We're not gonna eat those. Um, you're gonna need five of these and you're going to need to spend, uh, I think it's 59 bucks, to get the cure for the plague. Because to recruit him, we have to give him the raw meat and the uh, cure for the plague. So do that before you leave town. And I decided I'm going to recruit this guy because we're still looking for a D'Artagnan and an Athos uh, to complete the four I've had enough of my nightmare neighbors. Take me far away from here. And I wanted to show you what it costs. It's going to cost $108.60 influence. The guy we're going to recruit only cost us, uh, I think it was 59 bucks for the cure for the plague and um, 25 more bucks for the, um, uh, the meat. So he's going to be cheaper and he's probably going to be better than this guy, but I'm going to recruit him. You don't have to do that. I'm just showing you. Uh, and I want to get the four musketeers in there. I still need a D'Artagnan and an Athos. I think this guy will be Athos. And then we need a D'Artagnan. Oh, and if you see that uh, that red 97 underneath our, our money, we're down to $681. Uh, that's how much we have to pay them on the next camp. So we will owe them $97. Uh, we haven't had to pay them yet. Having that long distance run in there, I haven't had to pay them yet. And I've only camped, I've probably camped at least four fewer times than you would have had to if you didn't pick that. So again, it's a kind of an economical uh, selection for that. All right, let's get over there and I'll meet you. On his specialization, we're gonna take Vanguard. We took Destroyer on the first brute. He's gonna have Vanguard. Pick that for him and I still can't change this. Uh, Vanguard, uh, medium armor, so um, that's good. Uh, man, this is upsetting me. Uh, I need to get career uh, plans unlocked. It usually unlocks before now. Uh, critical hit. For him, building him, it's strength, critical hit, uh, health. Okay, so there he is. And I sold all that other equipment I shouldn't have. I, I wasn't planning on recruiting him. If I knew I was going to recruit him, I wouldn't have uh, sold all of it. But we're heading over here. We'll go up this road, and we're going to do this job. And we're not going to do the rat infestation. We're going to pick our guy up first. Um, and then we'll open up some borders. Okay, here. Woodland Farm. Talk to his wife. A plague rat bit my husband while he was out chopping wood, and Stromcap has cast us out. 
Ever since, I've had a very hard time finding enough food for him. I've nothing to offer in return, but could you take care of him? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Taurus. I said, Dr. Taurus. I heard what my wife told you. She's right, you know. I will eventually turn against her. Do what you must. I'd rather die than hurt her. Well, apparently he only wants dried fish. I brought that meat. Now we've got him. Let's look at him. Willpower 10. Oh, he's carnivorous. Yeah, he's got to eat uh, meat with every meal. Um, he is a healer and he is a warrior. Um, and that's not as good this time as he has been in the past. But we do have to, um, we're going to make him a berserker. Um, the other one we did executioner on, right? Our other warrior. So we're going to make him a berserker. And berserkers gain valor points by being in contact with the enemy. So you're going to pick this one. And the the best thing for him is strength. <laughs> strength, of course, critical hit. But um, we still don't have career plans. Oh, there we go. Now we got two pluses in critical hit for his next level. And he's not too shabby. He is not too shabby at all. Um, does he come with armor? Oh, we have to heal him. So um, we brought the uh, cure with us. There we go. And he does not come with armor. And I don't have any to give him. So now we have a troop of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a horse. Don't get any bigger than that. The more people in your troop, uh, the more enemies you encounter, and of course, the more expensive it, it is to uh, to keep them up, to equip them and feed them and pay them and all of that stuff. Uh, you can get bigger later, uh, eight for right now, and that is actually uh, two more than I uh, anticipated. Well, one more than I anticipated. We had, we had um, well, I changed her name to Edith. She was just too good to pass up. I had to I had to take her, and then uh, the guy turned into Athos. So two more than I expected, but that's okay. And then you can pick the lock up here and uh, get the stuff out of it. Um, I won't record doing this uh, because it's, it's, it's too long. That was my last lock pick anyway. All right. So now, from here, though, what we're going to... Well, I'll take care of the jobs here. I'll show you a rat infestation, an easy way how to handle that. If I have the stuff to make torches, you want to go into rat infestations with torches. And what we're going to do is head back this way and do this one. So I'll meet you back here. And unless I can make torches, then I'll show you how to do the rat infestation. Easier to do this with six than it is with eight, because with eight, we're going to get a lot more rats. Okay, rat infestation, um, very, very easy. He's going to go here. Um, he's going to go first, I mean, but check this out. This is why we made her a foot soldier. Now, we could have attacked that rat first. And that might have been smart, but I wanted to show this off. Uh. next one to move is right in here and that is going to just be really really bad for them um, <laughs> let's move her over here move him over here and this is why you want the torches you get three of them they take extra damage from fire he has the ability to run out of the way, and they should come after him. He can also do his special ability to make these, this rat disengage and get itself killed. It'll disengage and get attacked. There you go. Surprise. 
I want um, these two to attack the outgrowth. Um, you want to try and stay in here as long as you can. To kill as many rats as you can because you get more um, goodies that way. Oh, I didn't get in position quite right. Um, let's move them over a little bit. him over here to support her, but it doesn't look like she really needs it, does it? Now, we gave him this ability. We gave him Rampage. Let's start working on this. She gets uh, valor points for every kill, so that really uh, helps that out. Can't reach that rat. Um, um, close. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't want to hit my own person. Um, I really don't want to kill her um, this, this fast. You want to stay in here as many rounds as possible, but because um, we're we're just making, we'll keep we'll keep it short for video purposes. You get the idea. She's gonna call in more, but she's gonna die really quick because she's got fire damage on her. And this will all be And that uh, is how you do it without killing her first. You should stay in there longer so that you get more of all this loot, uh, which are, is going to be very valuable uh, later on in the game. I don't, do we have to repair stuff? Yes. All right, so that's the rat infestation. I just wanted to show you how to do that easily. Okay, we'll end episode one here um, because this is too long because I was doing demonstrating stuff. Where we are, um, Brotherhood training camp right here. We came here from the uh, town, did our mission, did our job, and then just go right up the slope. That's the border down there. You can see it. I hope we don't get into a fight with a bunch of troops here. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Right over here, investigate this camp. Uh, there's some gold in there and whatnot, and your piton goes right here. And that will put a rope down, and you just crossed into an Iranian territory. You can follow this road all the way up to the town center. Uh, that'll be the next episode, but that's how you cross a border without a border pass and without paying taxes. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll do episode two. Uh, subscribe if you want to be notified about that. I hope this was helpful if it was. Um, you know, subscribe, get notified so that you get episode two, and we will open up all the other borders on that uh, episode. And I'll just show the opening of the borders. 
not all the adventuring around uh, as much. <clears throat> so thanks for watching and you take care of yourself now.